What's up, family? A couple of caring mothers went on a White Winger podcast to complain about the children's school's policy of teaching critical race theory. They were not happy, fam, so they went on a tour, clowning the school. Well, that didn't sit well with the higher ups. According to the Columbus Dispatch, Columbus Academy told mothers Andrea Gross and Amy Gonzalez the expelled children will not be permitted to re-enroll in the 2021 school year, citing a campaign of false and misleading attacks on the school the duo engaged in when they went on a white fragility tour blasting the academic studies conservatives are now using as an umbrella term for all things race related and white butt hurt inducing. Got that from the root. <laughs> white butt hurt inducing. <laughs> I'm a wordsmith, fam. So when I hear stuff that people say, somebody put some words together and, you know, it's got that got that little zazz to it. I'm like, oh man, I got to recognize it. Anyway, fam, question. Why are white people primarily so against America's true history being taught? And why are some Hispanic people joining this crusade against the truth being taught in the schools. I mean, isn't like the, the human thing to do, like the intelligent thing to do, since we are a, an evolving people, right? isn't the right thing to do is tell the truth. No matter who it may hurt, tell the truth. I do believe once we can have an honest discussion and we can stop all this lying, we can actually move the needle. But this trying to suppress history, facts, the truth will only mean the death of America. America continues to go back socially. Oh, we have great technological advances. But socially, as a people, not so much. It's bad, fam. Why don't they want their history to be told? Because in private, they do a lot of bragging about it. A lot of bragging goes on in private. And there are a lot of people out there right now, fam, I do believe. If they had an opportunity to own a human being, they would. They would do it in a heartbeat. This is why many of them are so empathetic toward this conservative thing, this whole, this confederacy. You know, they want those statues around. They want to hold on to that part of history for dear life. For some of them, that's all they have because they can't keep up. Okay? They can't keep up. They can't cut it. So all they can do is reminisce about how great things used to be when it was handed to them, when it was easy for them, when there was no competition. That's all they can do. And so they're mad about that. And you start talking about teaching the truth, the 
history? It's like, if you don't want that part of history told, why try to uphold it? Why continue to uphold it? See, I really do believe that only the people who uphold it are the ones who really have a problem with it. There are some people who are passive aggressive about racism. And they think that they're better because they don't go around using the N word, at least not publicly. They got a black friend here, black friend there, uncle, black friend, you know? So they think this ain't for them. Oh, nah, you too. Get over there. You either with the truth or you're against the truth. You, you're either for, you're either for justice or you're against justice. You're either a human being or you're an animal. Ain't no in between. You cannot straddle the fence on this. And listen, fam, you know it's something when they don't even want the truth being told. They don't even want people to talk about, to know the truth about slavery and how these systems in America have been set up. That's what critical race theory is about like exposing this system, like having these honest conversations about this system in America, the systemic racism and how it came to be and how it's upheld. And many of the people who are protesting it are part of the problem. That's why they don't like it. That's why they got a problem with it. Wait a minute, you're messing with my money. Wait a minute, you're messing with my self-esteem. If you tell it like it is, then that means something's got to be wrong with me. That's what it is, fam. That's all it is. I say teach critical race theory in every school in America and beyond. Critical race theory now, critical race theory in the future, Critical race theory forever. No more talk. Hey yo, bring the fire all summer long with the big three and your homeboy Ice Cube. Starting July 10th on CBS, Driller, and Fight TV. That's right, every Saturday. Bring the fire with the big three, baby. Yay, yay.